Welcome back to the channel everybody. I know that I said that I was gonna see you tomorrow but it's actually still today and the reason I wanted to show you guys something right now. Uh, it's not pulling up. That's not them. I thought it was. Brian, one of the other guys that's with us that has been hunting. We just got word that there is a kudu down and is probably the most iconic animal in uh, Africa when you're talking about planes game. They call them the gray ghosts because they're very elusive. They found one that was a next generation kudu and it was a nice one apparently and it's down and I've never seen one up close. You have shot one. That's the first animal you ever got in it Africa. Was, yeah. So huge achievement. Probably one of the hardest animals to kill with a bow like out there in the yeah, world. But we're about to see one up close. So I wanted to start you guys off today with a little something something. We're going elk hunting, by the way, this year. I'm going with Rob. I told him I would go if he went dove hunting with me. One day. <laughs> one day. He'll go dove hunting with me one day. <laughs> Look at this smile. <laughs> David, David, David. Good David, day. David, David, David. David. We were driving around. Um, hey, do you want to see one there? We ran into a bunch of eland, a bunch of black wildebeest, and just kept trucking. Saw a few kudu female. We were driving for a while and hadn't seen anything. And then Ricardo just uh, said that he saw a very nice bull with deep curls. And we all took a look at it and decided that we needed to shoot it from right there, not even try with a stock. Because they said, you know, once you, ghost. See, yeah, once you see a bull like that, you may never see one again if you pass it. Patrick just said that's the biggest bull he's ever seen down. Really? How <laughs> does oh, that make you feel? That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. That room right there is why you come to South Africa. Why you come with Patrick. Isn't that right, Patrick? Patrick and Safaris. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug right there. It's a brand new day, everybody. Right now we are doing some spotting for some Ginsbuck, some Impalas. Right on Rob's hut right now, so he's trying to get a, a Kim's buck. It's dead calm today. I was really hoping to get the bow out, but it's actually so calm that they can they can hear us. It'd have to be an incredible circumstance for us to be able to sling a broadhead here today. Right now it's morning, it's calm, and there's some hymns bucks that are kind of, they sit on these hillsides and they sun themselves. So uh, the tracker right now and our pH are or looking in the spotting scope to see if uh, any of these are shooters. Hopefully we gotta get one down for Rob and then this afternoon I'll be hunting as well. So stay tuned. It's gonna be another great day here in South Africa. It's been a, a tough stock this morning. I'm trying to get uh, one of these Gims bucks down. We've been on three or four stocks and we've pushed them, keep pushing them, they keep pegging us. Conditions were super calm this morning, but now uh, we just had lunch, we came back out and there's a nice little steady wind. I think that's gonna help us. So we're gonna go see what we can go do now. And then I'm gonna be hunting this evening. We gotta get Rob something down first, so. We just finished up Rob's hunt, crazy hunt. Uh, we went all over this place and it seriously felt like I was back in New Zealand hunting goats, like just going up and down, up and down, up and down. If you wanna see what a Gims buck is like, Rob's channel's linked down below. I've got a story, I haven't really told you guys much about Patrick, the owner here, um, the guy that Rob told me about and then we got to know and we, we came over here with. He's been a safari guide for many, many, many years. He's been a PH. They're equivalent to a game warden over here. He's seen a ton of crazy stuff and he's got one amazing story. He's got a ton of amazing stories, but I do want to share one thing that is on the internet right now uh, that is crazy and I want to have him tell it to you and I'm going to roll some footage when we get back to the lodge. Congratulations, Rob, by the way. It's been a, it's been a humdanger. Then we'll them home danger days. <laughs> so.
so we're, we're here at the lodge right now. We're getting ready to go out again. We've got the awesome fire going. Patrick's here. Um, he's ha he has some incredible stories. All these guys do, all the PHs do. He was actually charged by Africa's most dangerous game, would you say? Most dangerous yeah, game or one definitely of, definitely top five, yeah, top, three. top three. Top three. This video that we're about to play kind of explains it all, but just set us up here. Well, I think the, the main thing was that we were hunting it with a crossbow. We got pretty close to him, but he was lying down. And uh, we wanted him, you can't really, sh you shouldn't shoot a buffalo with a crossbow lying down. So what we, what the main PH decided to do was uh, ask me to go around and get him to stand up. And uh, so that he would just see me from afar. Fortunately, when he did see me, he came straight for me uh, and decided to charge. They don't normally do that, um, but I think uh, he might have far felt a little bit cornered in that and uh, didn't like the fact that people were hunting him. But a buffalo would normally just normally charge when he is wounded, definitely. This guy saw me and came for me and I managed to pull a shot off right at the end but it was quite a difficult situation because there were people around. Shot as he dropped his head and uh, shot him in the top of the, the, just top of the boss there, just in the neck. We, we recovered the 458 bullet. Did nothing to him, carried on going. <laughs> Flicked me with his horn, I remember the horn coming, the sharp part of the horn coming past my neck here. And uh, it all happened in five seconds. It's one of those things that just, Everything went wrong. And uh, yeah, luckily he didn't stay and gore me because then I probably wouldn't be sitting here today. He went straight through, turned around, I was rolling on the floor and the other guys managed to shoot him before he came back to finish me off. I'm very thankful to be alive today. Uh, broke my arm, had a bit of bruising on my body and uh, otherwise, yeah, 99% I, I, of the time you wouldn't walk away from something like that. How many lives do you have in, in Africa here? Yeah, look, I've a couple of run-ins with everything seems to want to eat me. Uh, it's Africa, but I mean, also, it's safer, I feel, than the, the dangerous, like being in a city. To walk in this bush here is, 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 is amazing. And to experience the wild animals of Africa is, is really, really special. And I don't think I could live anywhere else. I think you've got to understand the African bush. You've got to be with someone that knows the African bush and uh, then you'll be fine. But yeah, I've had run-ins with lions and elephants and um, all kinds of things. But also, as a, I used to be a game ranger for our national parks. And uh, yeah, it happens. Well, we're glad you're here. Yeah, I'm glad to be here as well. To look after my family. And in case you guys are wondering, directly behind Patrick's head is the skull of Cape Buffalo. Amazing story right there, y'all. Patrick and his, his guys, they're a great team. Everything they do is very professional. So uh, on any wounded animal that we go after, it's really controlled. He's got a lot of experience with dangerous games, so he knows what he's doing. If you guys are even thinking about going and doing safari hunting and you're like me, which my thought concept was like, South Africa or Africa in general, it's just, I'm going to get malaria, you know, there's going to be black mambas. It's going to be very, very challenging. Just like, I, I couldn't picture it. It was just bad. I just had all bad thoughts. I'd heard horror stories from Rob about these other places. Well, this is the right deal right here. We don't have to worry about anything. Patrick basically it catered to whatever we wanted to do. We gave him a list of animals. We've gone to two different camps. Um, and it's very professionally done. We're staying in incredible lodging, as you can see. Just a shout out to him and his team. If you guys wanna, wanna do it, um, I would definitely recommend him. I'll have his page linked down below where you could go uh, contact him. Um, you can speak with him directly and basically he'll walk you through like all the different leases, properties that they have. Uh, that have different types of animals and just whatever kind of experience you want to do like whatever is going to make you happy and today is our last day and the experience that i've enjoyed the very very most is bow hunting there's nothing that gets me going more than bow hunting so i love stalking it's something that i've picked up in the last couple of years doing i love to do it uh, today i'm breaking out my tennis shoes and i'm going super sneaky 
trying to get uh, at least an Impala with a bow. We got pretty close to some Impalas yesterday with Rob on a bow stock and I just was like, man, I really wanna go do that. I've already got an, a nice Impala Ram, but um, I'm gonna try to get another one and I think we can sneak up on them. There's also a chance at a Gims buck, at a water buck, possibly. We may dip down in some valleys and things like that. One thing I need to make sure of is my bow has been shooting off and I discovered yesterday that my rest, uh, or not my rest, but my sight was a little bit off just from tra traveling and being bumped around. I got the Allen wrenches out and I tweaked it and I think it's on right now, but um, I'm gonna say that's part of the reason I made such a bad shot on that first day. I've had to like readjust it every time and I finally figured out uh, which screw was actually loose. We're gonna get that dialed in. We're gonna take a good practice shot here, make sure we are, uh, we are dialed and then we're gonna head out in the bush. It's perfect conditions. We got just a light wind and I've got my sneakers on, literally. Let's go make it happen. Spot and stock with a bow, last day in Africa. What do we got here? 22, step back, step back to about 30. Pray I get a 30 yard shot, that would be so amazing. Made a couple of tweaks here, we should be on like Donkey Kong. Okay, there we go. I'm okay with it. <laughs> 